then have a nationwide NRC, as Amit Shah said you would, you will be requiring people throughout the country to produce documentation. Who gets left out? You tell me. First of all, the vast majority of our country doesn't have birth certificates. It is estimated that at least 65% of our population has no birth certificates for themselves, let alone for their parents or their grandparents. The poor, the marginalized, the slum dwellers, the rural, they're very poorly documented. We have a cabinet minister, a member of the Council of Ministers of Mr. Modi's government, General V.K. Singh, when he was army chief, went to the Supreme Court saying that he didn't have a birth certificate and the age given in his school certificate, which was recorded in the army register, was wrong. Now, when a minister is not able to prove his exact birth date, how are you expecting these poor Indians in your NRC to prove who they are and where they were born, or worse still, where their father was born? Well, if you are a Hindu, Buddhist, Sikh, Christian, uh, etc., Parsi, you're going to be fine. The CAA says so. But if you are a Muslim and you have no documentation, it becomes very easy for people to say, how do we know you didn't come from Bangladesh or Pakistan? The guy says, I'm from West Bengal or I'm from somewhere else in North India. The onus will be on him to prove his innocence. Whereas, in fact, the government can simply say that the lack of documentation in your case makes you ineligible for citizenship, which they're not likely to say to somebody of one of the other faiths. That is what people are objecting to. It is the reduction of Muslims to second-class citizenship, not just by their omission from this bill, but by the next consequence of the NRC. Now, seeing these protests, the government has hastily backtracked. Our prime minister, who seems to have only a nodding acquaintance with the truth, says that there has been absolutely no discussion of the NRC. There are videos you can get on Google and YouTube of Mr. Amit Shah, two speeches in Parliament, six or seven interviews, various speeches outside, talking about the NRC and how it will be implemented after CA. How can Mr. Modi say that there's been no discussion of the NRC?